Hi, it's Dr. Keado, and um, now what I want to share is about resources and frameworks. So you're going to see that there's a um, overlap in terms of themes. Hopefully it all makes sense. So first, um, resources. Resources, part of it has to do with experts. Let's say that in your research, as you're reading the, the books, or depending on the people that you know in the field, you come across an expert. It could be someone that maybe facilitated a workshop and you had an aha moment. Oh, this person knows about this. This person knows about UDL. They're a UDL expert, um, universal design for learning. And maybe I can reach out to them and talk to them and they can guide me in terms of how to structure this project. Or maybe it's someone that you follow in social media as an expert, but you follow them on social media and you reach out to them or maybe you read a book. And their information that they share is helpful to you. Or maybe they're helping you with the design or whatever the case may be. So that is um, part of, of what we do as part of the research and it's, you can include that. The other part that I wanna mention is framework. As educators, there's some sort of framework somewhere depending regardless of our content area, right? So we either follow state standards or we follow national standards um, or certain methodologies depending on the content area. So my recommendation is that you design your study based on a framework. I already spoke about your philosophy. I ask you to think of who you are as an educator, what type of um, research are you inclined to, right? Your research approach, your your approach as an educator, your philosophy of ed tech in a previous um, video. But what I'm talking about here is specifically to your study. <clears throat> so for example, for a whole language approach, there is um, a, a framework, there, there's several frameworks, but there's a set of guidelines that I follow and um, in the design of a blended learning environment that I design, I use a framework for one language so that my lessons were all aligned to those standards. So it wasn't like I created everything from scratch. Um, I said, okay, so this is what I believe in. This is a research-based framework that I that it's been proven, that it's supported, that it's mandated by this now. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna design a um, uh, blended learning environment. I didn't make changes because I had to create something new, so I did make some changes. <clears throat> but, um, but it wasn't like I pulled it out of a hat, like only my imagination, no. It was research-based, so it, it had a foundation. <clears throat> so I want you to think of that. Um, that same framework will or should guide you in the design of your instruments. Okay, so I'm gonna talk um, a bit more about that in another video, but again, you have a framework that guides your practice or your philosophy or whatever it is that you're researching and that framework can help you design your instruments you don't have to or shouldn't have to come up out of, of you know with the, these instruments out of nowhere okay bye